So basically, are you saying, when it comes to the music, that women are much more talented than their male counterparts? Is that what you're saying? Women are the best performers. Women put more effort into everything. Women meet up with their dancers. Like, female artists, we meet up with our dancers, we rehearse, then we go to the rehearsal studio, and we like to perform live. We don't do DJ track one. Chill. Okay, so for someone whose name is Good Girl LA, why you why you go? You, wait, I've never asked the question. I've not asked the question. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. So for someone who, whose name is Good Girl Ellie, why did you decide that you're going to sing like sing uh, the normal R&B and soul, jazz, whatever? Why are you not singing Jesus? I love you. You do me like your name, my is name is Good Girl. Yeah, <laughs> you, you understand? It's a no-brainer, no. But you decided to be singing about yeah. man. To me, <laughs> to me though, okay. when people say that, I'm like, what does a good girl look like? That's just the stereotype, you know? No, it's not. Like, it's not a stereotype. What does a good girl look like? A good girl looks like a good girl. Yeah, don't that look like a good girl? Ah. Hey! <laughs> okay. Okay. You see? So don't that look like a good girl? Okay. People always say that, and I'm like, it's not just about me, it's also about my music. Okay. It's good. When you listen to it, to it you're like, this girl is good. It's been a long time since I heard a girl that is mm. good. Oh, okay. So it's all um, it's all around that. And then my real name is Euphemia. It's a Greek word. Believe me, that was my next question. <laughs> Believe me, that was my next question. I that was No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, Euphemia is a girl. Okay, when someone is... Oh, okay, okay. Explain it. It's, so. it's, it's a Greek word. Um, it's a word, um, it's like something that's good. Something that's yeah, good yeah, 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 yeah. No matter how you look at it, something that's just good. Mm. So, good girl, Ellie. It's not wrong. And then, LA was from like Leiden. My first music name, L A D R N. But all my friends, Ellie, I found Ellie, what's up now? I'm like, I like this Ellie. That should be my name. We hold up. Your first name was Leiden. Leiden, L A D E. RN. I have R -N. just one song released under that under the name. Laden. Yes. You know when you say there's a Bible verse that say, Come to me, all you do, all you who are uh, Laden. Oh. -E oh, oh, okay. It's different. So you just wanted to take part of the former name with the no, name. No, actually it was a name that came from secondary school. You know that guy named you always writing in secondary school. Oh, okay, school. okay. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. So when I was Zangado just Foundation, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, there was Laden inside somewhere. Wait, know. hold up. So did, you say, did I hear Zanga now? Yes, you heard Zanga. Say it again, please. Zanga just Foundation, Nisha, Poesh Laden. Ah. That was the full name. Zanga, Zanga. I was writing on my book. Okay. My classmates knew that like, that was, you know, everybody has their kind of name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What school did you go to? Hobe College, Mazamaza Campus. No freaking way. You went Maza, to Hobe? Mazamaza Campus. You know Hobe? I, I stay in Festac. I grew up in Festac. Yes, I, I went stay to Hobe. Maza, I was going to ask you why you I were shouting out Festac so much in a particular song on the EP. Yes, I went to Hobe. Oh, okay. Ah, Hobe. So we used to go to a lot of house parties in okay. Festac, pool parties in Festac. We used to go to, what's that place? One Nation. Oh, okay. We used to go to the pool. We used to go to Rock View Pool. We used to go to a lot of pools. We used to do a lot of bad things there in secondary school. Do house parties and all of that stuff. I was even expecting how to call names of You see, Rock View, Rock View <laughs> when? Rock View that does that. You see, let's not. Let's continue like, the story. Like, yes, right? I'm, actu <laughs> I'm actually young. I'm actually young. No problem, it's fine. Yes, yeah, so, okay. like, we still all of that then. Okay. So, um, then, that was the laden name. That was the laden name. So, that okay. laden name, everybody decided to call me Ellie. Everybody literally decided to call me Ellie. So, I'm like, okay, Ellie is more catchy, it's more easy to remember. I call okay. myself Ellie. But then, there's Los Angeles, there's all of that. So, when mm. you upload your music, it's very hard to find. I started yeah. to own this name. Okay. And I added Good Girl to it, and it's perfect, guys. Good Girl. Because, in, in first, now hearing you talk about why you give, why the Ellie is at the back of your name, it makes a lot of sense because first of all, when I in my mind I was like, why why do you have why do you want me to pronounce somewhere. the whole good girl LA? Good girl going yeah. is already long. Right? You now put yeah. LA again, <laughs> but now it makes a lot of sense as to why the name. Is, so there's a story behind yes. behind this thing. But you would have made a lot more sense with imagine you saying Zanga the diva, oh Zangalicious. They'll be like Zanga swag. When they hear the person says this one again. Well, imagine they not hear your music though. They'll forget oh, the yes. name. Um, good Girl is, is perfect to me because it always starts a conversation. People oh, okay. always want to know why. 
People always want to look at me and say, well, that you have red hair, you can't be a good girl. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, right okay. That one makes so, sense too. All of that. Like your hair is cut on the side. Oh, imagine. <laughs> oh, your hair is cut on the side? Yes, actually. All the way to the back. Oh, I wow. have no hair at the back here. Guys, <laughs> can you see? This new style. Oh, wow. Like, it's wow. just my hair. And your edges are dope too. That gets right. Like, yeah, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's such a big compliment. You guys have no idea. I'm sure the girls understand. I've seen so far. Talk about uh, you. You know, earlier in the interview, you talked about how you felt at home on stage, at the Olympic stage. So, yes. how do you put the whole? How do you put the whole? Like, say you want to go perform somewhere. You understand? How do you prepare? You know, you talked choreography earlier and yes. uh, stuff. But I, I don't think I've seen you. Okay, I've not seen you. I don't think I've seen a lot, a lot of, but I've seen a couple of. Um, how do you put the whole thing together? Because one thing I noticed at that early performance, I keep going back to that, was because when yes. you started talking, when you started singing, everybody had to pay attention. Like, okay, who is this person? <laughs> so how do you how do you put that together? Um. First of all, I like to say, um, I grew up in church, performing in church. I grew up in the choir. I grew up making live music without the studio, without the phone recorders, having the melodies and keeping them in your head and remembering everything and making the song live with the piano and making the song live with all the backup singers and sharing all the parts. Like, and I can make a song with literally nothing because oh. of how I grew up in the choir and everything. So now, me growing up there, being on stage, even when you don't want to on a Sunday morning, even when your voice is not all right, you have to sing. You have to even sing. when the mic is not working, you have to sing. Even when the sound is not good and yeah. you can still sing. All of that was like a training process. All of that was like a building process and it built me into this. And the stage is like my home. Every time I'm on stage, once I grab the mic, even if I'm nervous before I get on stage, <laughs> once I grab the mic, it's all gone. Okay. I'm in charge of my situation. Okay. I'm having fun. So sometimes before I get on stage, I don't necessarily necessarily have a before stage ritual or anyways, a ceremony or whatever or something <laughs> I do to get me in. Sometimes what I do is just not want to talk. It's the time when I want to get on stage, I don't want to talk. Like people come, hey, what's up, Eddie? That's all cool and stuff, but I don't want to talk. No, talk like, about I it. probably only want to talk to my manager, like in this, or I want to mic stand here. Or this, I want the lights to go out when I come up first. If it's not my show and I don't yeah. have all that already oh, okay. planned, and I'm trying to make arrangements when I'm there, okay. you know how the Nigerian show goes. Yeah. So I just probably don't like the talk, and then sometimes I do vocal warm ups and all that. Me 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 me. All of that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I you know, I sing too, I so I know warm-ups, these things. Probably so, listen to so. my stuff and go through it. Okay. All of that, but there's nothing really special. It's natural for me. It's it's something I love to do. So. You can always give me the mic anytime. Anytime. I'm always ready to. So I give you a mic now. You will. Boy Scout way. I oh. shut it down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so now that we've got into this part of the interview, I've, it's been a fantasy of mine to have good girl sing with my name. So. Oh. <laughs> can you? Oh, you know. Well, we'll do that as a, so. Let's talk. Let's talk the EP now. Okay. Let's talk the early confidential EP. So. I listened to it recently. I think it's eight tracks. Yes, eight tracks. I have a couple of favorites already. I mean, let me, guys, let me give you a little bit of expo. It's a, it's an EP full of singles. If you understand what I mean, <laughs> it's an EP full of singles. Like this, these are songs that yes. can. You understand? Stand on its own. Stand on its own. I think I like uh, waste time or waste waste no time. Waste no time. That's um, track three. That's track three. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one I like because I was I listened to it for the first time when I was driving. You understand? So I couldn't check which song was playing, but I just had mental notes. Then there's this one that sounds like a reggae type of. It has a. Pina. Uh, is that Pina? Track yeah. Five. So I'm thinking in my mind, okay, waste no time. You put out waste no time yes. now. You know, we vibe to that. Yes. Then you put out the video for Pina. That's some. That's some. That video, if, I don't know how you, if you guys have plans. We shot it already. I shot the video for Pina already. Um, it's coming out next week, Friday. Directed by Unlimited Ellie. Shout out to Ellie. Yes, I shot the video of Pina already, so he saw the prophecy, I guess. Our father in heaven, let it be what is in my head. <laughs> yes, I shot let the video. Be. Okay, give us a little, what should we expect, what should we expect? I um, expect a lot of color. Okay. Expect dance. And drama. Dance. Leave drama. Dance. That's <laughs> the that's the so let's talk about let's talk about the uh, the EP. You put out a couple of, you put out two singles already. You put out Bless yes. Me even before this. Because I was looking at it and I was like, oh okay, bless me and fire away. This was even before I even started listening 
to it, I was like, okay, I'm about to have some orgasm in my ear. And I did. Wonderful. You know when you love someone so much that yeah. you don't want to be with them? You don't want to be with them? Yeah. Ah, uh, your head is not correct. That white is kind of love. <laughs> <laughs> Can you like, imagine? I love you so much, but I don't think this can I love you part. too I much, too. I always love you. Just love me like that. You're in Nigeria. What is what you're doing? You're in Nigeria. <laughs>